It'll be the first cuts on the 268. <clears throat> I went ahead and put a little timing advance in it before I brought it over here. New uh, recoil spool, new coil. Got a new aftermarket carburetor, new aftermarket cylinder, piston, caber ring, new modified muffler, a new OEM worm gear, a new aftermarket chain tensioner. I got it all put back together. This is going to be a, a 7K giveaway. <laughs> actual true 268 cylinder on here it's an aftermarket i have no idea it was already on the saw i don't know what brand it is no markings on it <clears throat> you know piston nothing nothing had markings on it but it was missing a piston ring so i put a caber ring on it and uh ported it uh I don't even remember what my numbers were. I think it was around 102, 118, maybe 102, 120. Maybe 102, 120. I can't remember. It's probably in the previous video. I don't remember. Uh, I don't think I adjusted the intake at all. It's probably around 76. Something like that. They've got a big wide intake on them. I don't like putting a lot of, adding a lot of intake timing to it because it's wide. It gets plenty of fuel. Um, it already had an aftermarket coil on it, or I'd just I'd switch it back if I had an OEM one. But it already had an aftermarket one on it. It's got a complete OEM intake system uh, the intake block is OEM the gaskets are OEM that's a good little saw but these are these 268s the standard 268 is an open port it's a quad
quad open port. And that's the first one I ever touched. But they made a 268 XP that had closed port. But this is not. This is just a standard open port. Old sucker will cut wood though. Tell you that. It's got an aftermarket oil pump in it. And it works perfectly. Oiling great. Let's say somebody my guess somebody started to rebuild this all and they uh, ran out of talent. Got in over their head, whatever you want to call it. But uh, they had some new parts there. They just, they probably couldn't get it to run right. I would say the missing ring issue, they probably tore it back apart and broke it, taking it off the piston or something. Those aftermarket cylinders come with these really, really brittle cast iron piston rings. And I mean, they will break easy. That's probably my guess. Then they just threw it back together and gave up. But they're probably their problem, main problem was the intake block leaking. I've yet to ever get a Chinese one to seal or Chinese gaskets to seal. I just buy, I just, if I can find a new OEM block, I'll find a new one and put a new one on it. Or if I can't, I'll buy a used one and then get OEM gaskets. And if I can't get OEM gaskets, my buddy Skucky Bob, John Bob, he, uh, he gave me some gasket material, the exact same material that Husqvarna used on his, his gaskets, exact same stuff. You just got to cut them out. So if I can't find them, I will make them. So other than that, saw's all there now. It's all complete. Everything functions on it. Chain brake works. Her high idle works. I don't use it, but <laughs> it works. I'm not used to a high a manual high idle on on a saw like this. But yeah, see it works. Got a new fuel filter on it. Fuel line was good. I had to put the new a new a new spool in the recoil. As it had I don't know if it was just the original and wore out. It said Brazil on it. So it wasn't an original, original one. But it didn't say Husqvarna on it. It was either a really good copy or it would had been on there a while and it was just used up. They wouldn't catch the dog. So I got a brand new OEM. It says Husqvarna right on it. And it also says Brazil, but it's OEM stuff. So it's, it's mostly OEM, some aftermarket goodies. But uh, let's get to 7K. Somebody's gonna win this. I'm about 300 and some away. There you go.